Today we're going to make a concrete planter. I'm going to make the form for the concrete by using three of these PVC couplings to connect two cheap plastic planters together. These couplings will keep the planters about two inches apart at the bottom and they'll also serve as the drainage holes once the planter is finished. I also got threaded plugs that fit right into the couplings. Now, now the holes I drilled were a little bit too snug so I just used my box cutter to make them a little bit larger. Now my aim with the drill bit was a little bit off so I made an extra hole but no problem I'll just cover that up with some duct tape. I used my hot glue gun to seal around the threaded plugs and couplings. The plastic planters are pretty flimsy so I added some two and a half inch long deck screws through the outer one and into the inner one to kind of hold them in place together. Now I want to create a gradient pattern in the concrete by adding a liquid cement color. I added this pigment to the water and then mixed it into a bag of white quickcrete countertop mix. We filled the planter about one third of the way full and then mixed a second batch but this time we only used some of the blackened pigmented water and also added in some clean water so that this next layer of concrete would be a little bit lighter in color. We repeated this process again and this time using even less of the pigmented water. We only needed one 80 pound bag of the Quick Creek countertop mix to complete this project which would have made it a great entry to the Quickrete One Bag Wonder competition where they challenge DIYers to see what they can make out of just one bag of a Quickrete product. If you want to hear more about this competition, check out some of the links in the description box below. We rinsed out the mixing tray and for our final layer, we mixed just the pure white Quickrete countertop mix. I shook the mold a little bit to get out some of the air bubbles, but the more you shake it, the more the gradient layers will blend together. I let the concrete cure a full 48 hours before removing the plastic. I was able to use pliers to just twist away the threaded plugs and break the bonds of the hot glue. I used my knife to cut away the inside planter. Now in retrospect, I probably should have just cut the rim down and left that in as a liner. I made some cuts along the outside plastic planter and then used pliers to just peel that right off. Now the concrete got bumped into a few times while it was setting so it developed a couple hairline cracks but no worries I just used the Quickrete anchoring epoxy and I spread a layer of it on the inside and then added some fiberglass tape that's used for repairing drywall and then added another layer of epoxy over the top. Lime is a key ingredient used in concrete and with fresh concrete it can leach into your soil lowering its acidity. I sealed the holes at the bottom of the planter with duct tape and then let water soak in it for a few days and then dumped it out. I did this about three or four times to help remove some of that lime. Now I've had very simple minded commenters tell me before that concrete will kill plants. It isn't that simple. It really is just about it affecting the pH balance of the soil, but there's lots of things you can do to change that into your favor. I'll put some links to some of the articles that I read in the description box below. I decided to plant a dwarf lemon tree into this planter. For more information and more concrete DIY projects, check out our website. If you want to see what we're working on next, follow us on Instagram. That's where we post almost daily updates about what we're currently working on. To learn more about the concrete products I use, go to quickcrete.com. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.